After the ISIS bombings of two Christian churches in Egypt on Palm Sunday, the mainstream media largely ignoring that story. Are they purposely downplaying the attacks on Christians? And if so, why? Here to weigh in on that is the author of that book right there, The True Jesus, Mr. David Limbaugh. David, great to see you again. Thanks so much this for having me. This is your third Ainsley. Christian book. Yes. So you know a lot about this, and you can talk about the politics that are affecting our world today. On Palm Sunday, these people were attacking Christians in the middle of their service when they're worshiping Jesus. Yes, well, and obviously it's intentional. Uh, the radical Muslims target Christians and Jews. Uh, they want you to either submit or uh, be killed. We are being discriminated against because of what we believe and, and being uh, taught that we're intolerant and we won't accept other people when in fact we will accept other people and we, we are taught to be loving toward all people, not kill anyone. Why is that happening? I mean, we see at Christmas time they're changing parades to holiday parades. Easter well, time, Cadbury eggs just removing Easter from, from all of their boxes. I think there's an anti Christian bias in the mainstream media. If you look at the polls that they take, 90% of them are secular atheists and they're hostile to Christianity and they believe that Christians are intolerant. If you don't embrace, you don't just have to accept uh, other ideas and, and other lifestyles. You have to embrace them and say they're okay and we should encourage everyone to do it or you will be shunned. And that's what we're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, they're not even covering the story that happened on Palm Sunday. No, no, and, and yet they would, uh, they'll cover anything else, the slightest uh, hint of discrimination against anyone else, but never Christians. I know your brother is a staunch conservative. We all know that and listen to him on the radio. You clearly are conservative. This is your third Christian book. Tell me about your story. How did you decide to write Christian books? Well, I, I wrote, my first book that I ever wrote was a Christian book. I, I became a Christian. For, I mean, I grew up in a church, but I wasn't a, a devout believer until later, maybe 25 years ago. And I studied and studied, and I was so excited about what I learned that I wanted to share it. I feel like I'm in a unique position because I have a platform that pastors may not have. So I straddle both worlds, the political and, and Christian, the faith-based world. And I hope to reach people. And my, my goal here in this book is to introduce people to the Gospels. You write Right about how the disciples, even these men that followed Jesus and loved Jesus, didn't understand him. The Jews at the time the uh, Jesus came had been expecting a military and political deliverer. They, all through the Old Testament, uh, it talks about the Messiah delivering them uh, militarily. What they didn't see, and you, they can't be blamed for seeing, is that he's also a suffering servant. In his first coming, Jesus didn't come to deliver anyone uh, militarily. He came to die for our sins. And he didn't stand up for himself. He actually gave himself up and they slaughtered him and humiliated him and crucified him. On his second coming, he will come back to reign in glory. As a parent, what is it like for you? Do you think about when you learn what Jesus did, what God did, to let his son in such a perfect place come down to such an evil world and did all of that for you and for me? The thing is that people don't realize, and the Bible affirms this, is that God, the triune God, knew before creating us that we would fall and the world would go into it, a chaotic, fallen state, depraved state, and that the only way we could be redeemed would be if the Father would send His Son to die for us. It's not about what we do. We can't earn our way to heaven. It's about appropriating the finished work of Christ, receiving what He's done for us, and then we are accredited. We are accredited with His righteousness. We are declared righteous by God, but not because of what we've done. The book, David Limbaugh, it is called The True Jesus. Thank you, David, for Thank being you, here. Thank you, God bless you. You too.